with mommy today. The vlog's probably gonna be very boring. We're handling a lot of business today. Say hi, mommy. Hi, everybody. Okay, so it may not be very boring, um, but we gotta go handle some business. But this is my first time getting on a bus. Not that bus, though. We're gonna go a different bus. Um, but yeah, I'm a little, I'm actually a little nervous about getting on the bus. I know, it's kind of weird. But it's all full of germs, like, ew. But I have my hand sanitizer and a mask. Mom, you ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> all right, so, okay, so the bus is even here, y'all. And this, this motherfucker right here is already coughing without covering his mouth. I am not with the movement. Not for, not feeling it at all. I'm really thinking about just getting in the car and saying, forget that spot. I don't care how good the spot is. I don't care if it's gonna snow or not. I'm thinking about getting on the bus, getting on the car. Forget the bus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we can do that then. But I'm not with that. Nasty. Really, really nasty. There goes mommy. <laughs> and these people, they're taught to cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze from like two years old. I don't understand this. And then you gotta get into competitions with people because they're coughing all over you. And my mom will turn the fuck up quickly. <laughs> you gotta really see it. It's funny. <laughs> she may not turn up this time, but she does turn up. I will turn. I will definitely. I will definitely record it. Okay, so I'm on the bus, and I got a window seat that's open. And as you can see, it's very empty. So I'm good with that. Mommy's behind me. <laughs> so for my first bus ride, that wasn't bad at all. Um, it was empty for the most part the entire time. Oh yeah, by the way, that's where I bought my car from, right there. So yeah. No, I was telling them that's where I got my car from, right there. Um, if you need a car and you live in New York, go there and seek to shock him. He's really, really good. But we are here, and we are getting ready to get this business together. Okay, that went very well. What do you think, Ma? Very well. It was really, well, now it was kind of long. That was a long ass appointment. But I think it went pretty well. Um, I really can't say too much about what it is because it's like more, it's really personal, so I really can't say what it was. But it went really good. It, it went really, really good. Um, so now I'm about to get on the bus to head back home. Ma, you're going to work, right? Yes, I am. All right. She's taking the bus. Only because it's going to snow, but it's gotten really, really, really gray out. And plus, I'm halfway at to work. <laughs> pretty much. No, we double back home to yeah, go get anything. All right, um, it's cold, so. Okay, I'm home. I survived the dreaded bus trip. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but I would never do it again. Like, especially during rush hour, it was just too crowded and people just don't have regard for space and pers you know, personal space and that stuff. But no incidents, no one coughed at all. Um, no one sneezed, nothing like that. So it's pretty good. But yeah, I don't plan on doing it again. Give me a car any day, I'd rather sit in traffic. Trust and believe that. But I'm so hungry. Like, have you ever been hungry to the point where, like, your stomach was like, bitch, get something to eat now? That's what my stomach is talking about. So I'm about to go in there and go figure out what I'm gonna eat. Yeah. For this homemade soup recipe, I'm gonna use a Paula Deen recipe. Um, I think she makes some great food, even though she uses a lot of butter. So if she happens to use butter in this recipe, I'm gonna omit that. Um, because there's nothing, I don't need no high blood pressure, forget that. Or clogged arteries or anything else like that. But, um, it's a shame what happened to her. Like, she was, she actually made really good food. Like, good down-home southern food. Um, but I'm also gonna cheat a little bit too. Because I don't have all the ingredients, all the fresh ingredients, I should say, at least, for what she calls for. Um, so I'm gonna just, you know, tail it to what I have. Which is what you're, which is pretty much cooking about. It's all about the heart. So I think my soup came out pretty good, because it didn't have all the greetings that she had. I'll do it again, and it tastes pretty good too. See, that's the best thing about doing it yourself, cooking from home, because you can, get, you can control what ingredients you put in it, especially when it comes to the sodium, the salt, and a lot of stuff. I'll do this again. 